Hello, Year 9. Welcome to your art lesson. Um, today, we're going to be looking at perspective drawings. Just for those who may have not seen this type of uh, lesson before online, um, it's very similar to how we do our ICT lessons, where you come into the classroom, you log in, and we have an online folder. And you use that online folder to do your work. So you have a record of all your work in one place. That is what we're going to be doing with art. Um, you will have your folder that you need to open and go through the slides that um, the lesson will be based on and um, submit your work through that. If you want to do your work um, through you, on paper, um, and sometimes you will have to do it on paper, um, but you need to take a picture. You can use your phone to take a picture um, and then you need to paste it onto the slide um, or one of the slides um, to show that you've done the work. Okay, so let's have a look at today's lesson. Perspective drawing. Now, perspective drawing, what is perspective drawing? And what are we going to be doing today or throughout this project? Um, if this is not a one-off lesson. Um, this project will continue for a number of weeks, um, possibly maybe uh, seven to eight weeks. Um, and we're going to be looking at different perspectives. So um, the learning intentions, uh, we're going to look at series of works which illustrate how different artists have used perspective techniques to communicate their ideas. Um, number two, produce a drawing which explores perspective drawing through cubism. So you're going to, have, um, you're going to be looking at different perspective um, styles, angles, techniques, and then you're going to have a go yourself um, at that style, at that perspective. Um, which I'll talk about a bit later because that is going to be one of your tasks for today. And then you're going to present um, your results to and describe um, what you have learnt. Okay, so let's move on to the next slide. Okay, so perspective drawing. Um, these images that you can see uh, on the screen, these images are types of perspective drawing. Um, and you can see that it's not just a two, it doesn't look like a 2D drawing. Um, the way they have done it, um, it looks like it's actually 3D. So let's take um, this action figure. I think, um, I think it's Captain America, if I'm right. Um, I'm sure you will correct me if I'm wrong. Um, you can see that the figure, his body, his head, looks further back than his hand. Um, even though um, this was all done on a flat um, surface but it's the style and the technique of the way the artist has drawn that makes it look, um, it gives it some perspective. So it makes that leg look um, further forward than the back leg. It makes that hand look further forward than the head. Um, likewise, you can see some of these examples as well. It looks like, and this is definitely Batman, and it looks like his cape is coming forward and his hand is slightly back, even though this is all on one flat surface. Um, it looks like um, he's, he's standing up as well, even though that is flat on the surface floor. Okay, it's quite, um, it's quite um, interesting and um, fascinating how it's done. Now, for you to have a bit more of an understanding of perspective uh, drawing, I want you to have a look at these two videos that have been put on the bottom of the screen. Now, the two videos, the two YouTube videos that will try and help explain perspective drawings a little bit more better. And um, they will show you um, some techniques of what was used to achieve that style. I think it's very handy before you start because they may show you some tips that you may not know before, uh, may not have known before. And before you actually start your work, you'll be able to um, follow those tips um, to create a really good piece of work. Okay. Go to the next slide. All right. Um, so what is perspective? Um, what's the definition? Well, perspective is a way of showing three-dimensional objects in the most naturalistic way, uh, which is what we saw. Um, it look, they look like three-dimensional, like, um, like we talked about the figures, um, that Captain America figure where the hand looks further uh, forward than the head. Perspective views makes objects look slightly distorted as they vanish into the distance in the same way our eyes work. Perspective views require a vanishing point and a horizon line. Now, 
um, these points are very important um, because this is some of the vocabulary we will be using. So it's important you understand what they mean. So let's um, jump over to the vo vocab vocabulary section. So the horizon line, what do we mean by the hor horizon line? A line to describe the point at which the surface of the earth ends and the sky begins. So if you imagine, um, if you're going to a beach, say, say for example, sea line beach, and you look uh, towards the ocean, towards the sea, and you see the last point where it looks like the sea is meeting uh, the sky, that is the horizon line. Okay, we move on to the next um, um, next uh, vocabulary here, which is eye level. So what does eye level mean? Well, what we can see, so eye level means what we can see when standing or sitting with our eyes level to the world. What we can see in our in the comfort, comfortable field of vision without looking up or down. So eye level is just you naturally just looking straight ahead and whatever's straight in front of you, that's eye level, whatever's um, the same level as your eye. If you need to look further up, you need to move your head up, that's um, above eye level. If you need to look towards the floor um, and you're sitting down, that's going to be below eye level. Um, the next one, we've got a vanishing points. Vanishing points just here. Um, the imaginary point that connects that, uh, that connect a front view of an object or a leading edge to the horizon line. Vanishing points create the illusion of distance and space. Now, a vanishing point out of all of them, uh, the vocabulary we just mentioned, is probably the most trickiest to understand um, without uh, doing um, practical, without practically doing it. So that will um, make more sense when we get to that section. Okay, so the activity or your task for today is you're going to um, attempt to draw a perspective drawing, a very simple one that shows distance and depth. And um, we're gonna start off um, with a piece of paper. So I want you to get a plain piece of paper. I'm not, I don't mind if it's A4 or um, A3, um, that is fine with me. As long as it's um, a blank piece of paper and it hasn't got lines on there, that is fine. Okay. Then what you're going to do, if you look at the screen, you're gonna create a horizon line. Um, just roughly about just above the center of the page. Okay, straight line, use a ruler. Um, don't do it freehand, otherwise it will not work. Uh, it, will, it won't give you that effect that you require. So you can get a piece of paper, A4, A3, as long as it's plain, I don't mind. You're gonna create a horizon line, that's all. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is you're gonna draw an outline of a person. Um, this is a rough um, sketch of a person. It hasn't got much detail on there, um, so that is fine. This is just to show you, um, just to make a point and give you an example of what we're looking for. Um, one thing you notice here, it says, not where the horizon line that you created in the previous slide com um, cuts through a section of the person. So this, I would say, roughly about sh the shoulders of the person, maybe slightly below. Okay, that's very important. The reason why that's important is because any figure that you put on there, um, the horizon line will need to go through the same area. So if it's on the shoulders or just below, you need to ensure that the same section is on the person further back or forward. Um, all other figures will cross the horizon line at some point. The shoulders in this case, no matter how far away they are. Okay, or close, as you mentioned. So here you can see it cuts through the shoulders. The person is further back, another person's further back, and it cuts through the shoulders. This person is forward and um, closer to your screen, and it cuts through the shoulders again. Um, now you can draw other objects in proportion to the figures they are closest to. That means if you're gonna create um, an animal or any type of object near this figure, this um, animal has to be in proportion or this object has to be in proportion. You can't create a dog that's bigger than the actual person. Um, unless the person is a little baby, then um, the dog, uh, the, the human would probably be bigger than the dog. The point is, it needs to be in proportion. Proportion means um, the same size in reality. Um, so that's an example here. Let's check another example for someone a bit further away. So you can see if I was to move that dog here, 
that dog would be a tiny dog here if you look at that. Okay, so it wouldn't be in proportion to that, but it is in proportion because this person is further away. Now this dog is slightly bigger and it doesn't fit in the whole screen because the, um, the person's legs are not on the screen because how close they are to the um, screen. So the dog's um, body and legs will not be in the screen either. Okay, so what you are going to do is you're going to um, do something similar to this. Put more detail if you like, that's fine. Once you've created your rough uh, figures, then you can actually put more detail in them and bring it to life. It doesn't just have to be a person. and um, You can create some practice exactly the same as this, but then you can create maybe buildings. Um, that are closer, further away, any objects that are closer, further away, maybe the person has a bike, okay, and it needs to be in proportion. So you're going to get a blank piece of paper, um, you're going to practice, um, you're going to create a horizon line, and you're going to create different figures, uh, different um, that make them look dif uh, different distances away from the screen. Um, the trick is to make sure that the horizon line goes to the same point of um, the figure, um, that creates the illusion of a distance. And um, you're gonna color this in as well. Once you have done that, then I'd like you to take a picture with your phone and then you're gonna paste your work here. And then this will be evidence that you've completed that task. Um, as always, if there are any questions um, about the work, please do message me um, and I will try and help you out as quick as possible. Um, thank you for listening. And um, before I go, you will have um, up to the um, end of today to do this work because I will be marking them uh, tomorrow. If your work is not there, then you will be marked as absent um, on the register and um, you will get zero marks. So it's very important that you do finish um, them off. I understand that you have a lot of work with the other subjects. That's why as long as you complete it by the end of today, um, that is fine with me because I'm not checking it until tomorrow. Okay, guys, until next time, take care.